And honestly, it is really frustrating, but it's just one of those things that happen, unfortunately. Hello there, and happy Yorkshire Day to you all. You join me at Sheffield Railway Station in South Yorkshire. And today I'm going to be looking at the most northern, eastern, southern and western points of West Yorkshire. I'm going to visit those four railway stations. And honestly, this idea has actually come from another YouTuber who I watch named Sarah with the Trains. So I better find my train now to start this compass journey. <laughs> Okay, I'm on platform one now and this is very worrying indeed because I'm waiting for the 10.35 Northern service to Huddersfield because I'm going to Denby Dale, which is West Yorkshire's most southernest point. And honestly, the train is running about seven minutes late. I literally only had 10 minutes at Denby Dale to catch the train that I want to catch to go to Barnsley. And it's just pulling out the side of it now, so it is arriving into the station, but I'm hoping and I wish they don't hold us at Penniston for the train I want to catch at Denby Dale to pass. Okay, so I'm really worried now because the time is 10.49. I think I'm going to miss that connection to Debbie Dale. So we have made it to Pelliston. Unfortunately though, they are holding us here for the train I want to catch at Debbie Dale. So I've missed that connection. Not even touched the first station yet, it's already gone wrong. So we have now reached the southernest station in West Yorkshire. This is Denby Dale, and as you can see, it's just got one platform and it's single track. And that's why we're held up at Penniston. Because the train I wanted to catch off Denby Dale to go to Barnsley came first before we left. So unfortunately, I did miss that connection at Denby Dale that I had planned for 10 minutes. And honestly, it is really frustrating, but it's just one of those things that happen, unfortunately. So I have a bit longer here at Denby Dale now. So I've got some time to kill, and while I've got this time to kill, I'll just explain about this railway station's history. It opened on the 1st of July 1850 by the Huddersfield and Sheffield Junction Railway. And in 1965, the Liber Cave single track. And honestly, the next train that catches off here to Barnsley is at 12.35. But it's the same unit that I got off at Denby Dale. And it's running about four minutes late already, so the connection at Barnsley was eight minutes. Now it's going to be four minutes to catch my train to Wakefield Kirkgate. And honestly, hopefully I can make this connection at Barnsley. But we'll see how this plays out. So we have now made it to Barnsley. That eight minute connection is doable because the train came in and left bang on time to go to Sheffield. So I'm waiting for the 1308 Northern service now to take us to Wakefield Kirkgate. So 
Mount Wakefield Kirk Gate. So obviously the rain has come down, but it's honestly expected. But I'm really here to change trace for the 1346 Northern service. And this will take us to Nottingley, because Nottingley is the most eastern station in West Yorkshire. So I'm going to be taking that off next. Also coming down to Wakefield Kirkgate for Barnsley, I have tweaked the plan slightly, so by the time I get to the Western Station in West Yorkshire, I should be back to that plan and gain that hour back that I lost to get to Denby Dale. So we're now in Nottingley, West Yorkshire's most easterly point. And honestly, if I came here an hour before, that train was cancelled. So what happened at Denby Dale was really a blessing in disguise. This station was opened in April 1848 by the Wakefield, Pontefract and Gould Railway. And also what I'm going to do is now is board the 1416 Northern Service back to Leeds. I was planning to stay here for 30 minutes, but I'm not doing that now. Straight back to Leeds on this train right here. Honestly, I would have stayed there for 30 minutes if I had the time, but to be honest, I actually want to make the time back up. So we have gained 30 minutes on the schedule now that I had planned. But we are heading to Leeds, so I go to the most northern station in West Yorkshire. We're now at Leeds Station. This is one of two visits that I'll be spending time at today to change trains. The first one is this one right here, class 333, 333015, and this will take us to Ilkley. Now I thought West Yorkshire's most northern station was Ilkley. Turned out I was wrong. It's actually Ben Ridding. So we're going to head to Ben Ridding next. Welcome to the Ilkley train. So we have now made it to Ben Ridding, which is West Yorkshire's most northerly station. It actually beats Ilkley and Wheaton. And honestly, the views around here are just absolutely stunning. I remember coming here once when I did the Not For The Ilkley Fated video. I didn't get back home till after one o'clock in the morning. But you have to watch that one to find out why. However though, this station opened on the 1st of July, 1866 by the Otley and Ilkley Joint Railway. It was a venture between two railway companies, the North Eastern Railway and the Midlands Railway. So I'm currently waiting for the 1542 Northern service back to Leeds, which is basically the same unit that I came off from. But while I'm waiting, let's talk about this ticket right here, because this ticket is unique. It's actually a Northern only day ranger, one day unlimited travel on the Northern network. And you can pick it up for about £10 during the week and £17.50 during the weekend. But the reason it's unique is because you have to collect it from newspapers. So I picked up a copy of the Liverpool Echo and the Manchester Evening News, cut the tickets out, stuck the tickets to a form and handed that form into a ticket office because you could only get that ticket from a ticket office. Yes, Mark Harper, I'm talking to you. You could only get this ticket from a ticket office, not from a ticket machine. So we're now back in Leeds and we are heading to West Yorkshire's most westerly station on that class 158 behind me. 
Now the interesting thing is, I would have gone for Bed Ridding to Bradford Forster Square, walked into Bradford Interchange, caught the train from Bradford Interchange to Tomberton, and caught that train at Tomberton. This is the 1617 off lead, and this would take me to Walston, which is West Yorkshire's most westerly station. So I'm going to jump on now because the weather is a bit moist at the moment with all this rain and head to Wal Walston. So that class 158 DMU has dropped me off at this location, but that 158 DMU is actually going to the Wigan, Wigan Wargate. Station right behind me is Walston, which is one stop away from Todmorden on the Calder Vale line. And honestly, it just beats Todmorden by an inch as the most western point in West Yorkshire. Bit of history of this railway station is that it opened on the 10th of September 1990 by British Rail as part of the West Yorkshire Transport Passenger Executive. However though, there was an earlier station here which opened in 1845. You're seeing it on screen right now by the Manchester Leeds Railway. That station closed in 1961. And you want to know where that railway station originally was? Down there is a footbridge. And it was just beyond that footbridge. Honestly, today has really been a very rocky start, as you've seen. But in the end, it's actually turned out all right, to be honest. Sometimes you've got to take a step back, rethink, replan, and everything's all right in the end. And that's what's happened with today's video. And honestly, visiting the most northern, eastern, southern, and western points in West Yorkshire has really been fun, but a bit stressful with the connections. Some of the connections I made have been roughly about 10 minutes. And honestly, it has really been good. But if you want to see any more rail compass journeys, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Videos popping up right here if you want to watch another video, give that a click. People on screen now are YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trains. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on board for the Cyber Express for another journey down the line. Stay safe.